Hi, this is Dr. Victor Dominguez. Today I'm going to show you these pop-ups that some of you may have been seeing for some of your Medicare patients when you order labs for them. They're the failed medical necessity pop-ups, i.e. ABM orders. So this applies to your Medicare patients. So here we have a 70-year-old patient with diabetes who I'm going to place an order for. I'm going to place an order for a hemoglobin A1C. So here is a failed medical necessity checking. What this is doing is asking you whether or not this patient has had a hemoglobin A1C in the past three months. So here in this patient history procedure, you can see when was the last time this particular test was done. And then you would have to answer this question, has the procedure been performed for the patient within the last three months? So it's either yes or no. So if it hasn't been performed in the last three months, then you would choose no and place the order. If the procedure or the lab has been done in the last three months, and at that point, if you place this order, it's going to create an ABM task, which will then require the provider to speak to the patient about the fact that this test may not be paid by Medicare. So it's best to address these ABM waivers at the point of care. Otherwise, if you place the order and it creates an ABM task, then the, pot the patient could potentially be billed for this test. Additionally, your MA or someone in your clinic is going to have to call the patient, discuss with them with the fact that it may not be paid, and potentially have them have to come back into the clinic and sign a waiver. So it's not convenient for the patient. So it's best to deal with these medical necessity checkings at the point of care when the patient is in the clinic. So in this case, if the procedure has been performed for the patient for the last three months and you can't place the order because you don't want them, want them to get billed, then you need to remove the order. If you cancel the order, what that's going to do is create an ABM task. So if you don't want to place the order, you want you don't want the patient to get billed and you discuss with them that this particular test is not going to be paid then you have to remove the order and that will not create that task so i'm going to now show you guys a second pop-up that you guys could potentially get in this case i'm going to order a stool cold blood for this patient and here's the second pop-up that you'll get the field necessity checking in this case it's asking you to find a diagnosis for this patient that you can link to the stool or cold blood so that th so that this particular lab can get paid by medicare so here you'll see patient cover diagnosis these are diagnoses that are current in the patient's active list that you can choose and link it to that particular order. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see a, a second segment here that'll have additional diagnoses that the patient currently doesn't have in their active problem list that you can pick. So there's more than enough diagnosis here that you could potentially pick so that you can link the stool or cold blood to this order. So in this case, this patient already has a diagnosis of abdominal pain. So I'm going to pick that one and then I can go ahead and order the lab and it will not create an AB task. If you do not link it to one of these diagnoses and you place the order then that's going to create an ABM task and the patient potentially is going to get billed for this particular um, lab test. Now if you can't find a diagnosis for this particular patient and at that point you have two options. Either you remove the order and that'll remove it all together and you will now create an ABM task or you can talk to the patient about the fact that this particular lab test may not be covered by Medicare and at that point you guys can determine whether or not this test needs to be performed. So that's more of a clinical decision that the provider needs to make after they discuss the situation with their patient. Now if you decide to do it, then at that point you're going to have to choose one of these four items so that the particular waiver is signed by the patient if they decide that they want to have the test done. And if you don't want to do it and the patient says no, then you have to remove the order and move on to your other order sets.